Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How you guys doing? It's a quick uh, audio and video test of the Canon ELF 300 HS in outdoor conditions. I uh, just arrived this afternoon shooting this quick little video on the way back to work. I don't know if you guys will even see this, but heading back to work. Haven't really had time to play with it yet. Fiora wanted to, you know, a couple more bike riding lessons this afternoon, so haven't really played with it very much. But I'm looking forward to trying this out, seeing how well this works. This is supposed to be recording in full 1080p, holding it in the traditional vlog position here. A um, little closer to myself than with a flip camera. The flip, I have to hold it way out here like this, which I'll be honest with you, hurts my arms after a while. So. This is a little more traditional position like this. This does have a wide angle lens. I believe it's a 24 millimeter lens, which is pretty cool. So there you go. Quick little audio and video test of the Canon HF 300, ELF 300 HS. I've been looking at too many cameras lately. I don't even know what I'm using anymore. Cool beans, but there you go. It's the light coming down through the trees in the street. And the buildings over there cool beans so we'll check this out and we'll see what it looks like maybe do an indoor test try an indoor test too tack it onto this one see what it looks like cool beans here we are at work doing an indoor light test indoor light test danny chow is firing the walk it's conditioning it i think i might have my finger over the mic there there we go Danny Chow's conditioning the walk. Fire in the walk. Hey guys, what's going on? On my way home, finished work. It's duskish. So I figured now would be a good time for a low light test. Cool beans. Got my Tim Hortons. Got my Timmy's, my coffee, and my bits. Heading home. To tuck in the little girl. Say goodnight. Street lights are on. So hopefully, I'll give you an idea of a low light night test. Not really night, but dusk light test. Pretty cool though, it looks pretty good actually. Looks pretty darn decent. Uh, seems fairly stable, image stabilization seems to work really well. So that's very cool. Cool beans guys, now we're inside. Fiora's gone to bed, I have one light on, shining down on me here. So. Pretty dark inside. Hopefully the video looks pretty decent. Now the light's right and shining right in my eyes. It's very bright. But there you go. Cool beans. Another quick little indoor night light test. I'll shoot another one tomorrow indoors in daylight. And then I'll put all the four of these together and uh, give you guys an idea of what it looks like. Cool beans, guys. We're inside in natural, normal daylight conditions. It's about... 3.29 in the afternoon. I have to head back to work soon. The sun just came out from the cloud, behind the clouds, and uh, coming in the windows in natural daylight. And this is how it looks. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Um, it's definitely good. Um, is it as good or better than I thought it would be? No. Um, I have to say that uh, I was expecting a little bit better. For full 1080p video, I was expecting it to be just a little better. I think part of the problem is with the focus on the ELF 300 HS is not instant. Um, it takes sometimes two to three seconds if you change the focal point for the focus to adjust. Let me show you. You'll see it's kind of focusing but not you know exactly focusing. Zoom in closer. And it's not focusing at all. Everything's still a little bit blurry. Zoom back out here, and they were nice and tightly focused there now. So it takes, you know, a little bit for the focus to adjust, and sometimes it doesn't quite adjust perfectly. So um, it's good, but I don't think it's necessarily any better of a vlogging camera than the Flip Ultra HD, other than the fact that it has the wide-angle lens. Um, I love the wide-angle lens on the ELF 300 HS. It's really nice to not have to hold the camera way back here like this while I'm shooting video. It's nice to be able to hold it in a more natural position with the wide angle lens. That's really cool. But other than that, I'm not really blown away with the video quality 
over the Flip Ultra HD. Uh, the old Flip Ultra HD is still an awesome vlogging camera. Even though Cisco has discontinued it, it's still an awesome vlogging camera. Uh, and mine still works perfectly. So to be honest with you, the Canon is probably going to go back. So cool beans. That's pretty much going to do it for my lighting test and kind of my review. Um, there's a bunch of different settings and stuff for pictures and so on and so forth as well for taking pictures with this camera. So if you don't have a Flip Ultra HD, and or if you're looking for a point and shoot camera that also records video and takes really good quality pictures, you should definitely check out the ELF 300HS. It is a great camera, um, but it's not necessarily better for me than the Flip Ultra HD. It is a great camera. It takes really nice quality pictures. And there's a bunch of different settings in the pictures menu and stuff where you can, you know, adjust for self-portraits. Um, you know, program the exposure and the settings and so on and so forth. And has different filters built in and stuff like that. There's a lot of customization you can do with taking pictures uh, with the ELF 300HS. And if you're looking for one device that does both, it's hard to really go wrong with the 300HS. So there you go, guys. That's pretty much going to do it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And we'll see you in the next one. Cool beans. Rock on.